Hello and welcome to the next part in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to do some regression modelling. In this part, I'm going to show you how to do some polynomial regression modelling in Python. Now I've got two different examples and ways of doing this within Python. However, there are many other ways of doing it as well. So all that requires is a quick search on the internet and you'll soon find out there are so many ways of doing polynomial regression and regression modeling in general within Python. Okay, one thing to also bear in mind is that with my tutorials, I like to sort of show you sort of the finished product step by step and show it improve as we sort of write more lines of code. However, with this modeling, I can't show you the final product until I've written all the lines within that to produce the final product. And so it won't work until right at the end. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do in our first example is we're going to be using the sklearn module and we need to import some sections of that. And so what we need to do is we need to import from sklearn dot preprocessing import polynomial features and then also from sklearn dot linear underscore model import linear regression. So one of the ways in which we're going to be doing polynomial regression here is we're going to take uh, the linear, some of the functions from the linear regression modeling part of the sklearn module, and we're going to superimpose some polynomial features on top to create a nice polynomial regression model on top of some linear regression sort of functions. Cool. So after we've imported those, we need to create some values. So here we've got X and Y. So we've got X going from one to 22. And we've got Y going from 100 down to sort of 55 very quickly and slowly back up to 100. And that will give us a really nice sort of curve shape that you would expect in a sort of a polynomial regression model. Okay, so moving on. The first thing we need to do is we need to convert these X values into a 2D array because Polynomial features and this modeling only works within Python if you have a 2D array. So we can do that by making use of the reshape function within the NumPy module. And in our back in our very first tutorial here, we imported NumPy as NP. So we can make use of that by typing in np.arrayx.reshape. Then within two sets of brackets, we type in minus one and one and that'll reshape these X values to be more two dimensional. Cool, and I've given that the variable X underscore reshaped underscore poly, because that is our reshaped X values for our polynomial regression. After that, we also need to import our polynomial features function and specifying a degree. And so, one of the things you need to realize in regression modeling is that you need to sort of fine tune your modeling. It will take sort of a few iterations to get right at the very least. And so I've run this a few times and I found that the third degree works best. And basically the degree is the fit. You need to find how good, how far, how, how you want it to fit essentially with how you want the line to fit within your model. And so I found, found that sort of, I tried two, three, four, and five and three works best. So one aspect of regression modeling is the fine tuning, which you will need to do a lot of in order to get the best possible result. So I found that third degree works best for me. So if I type in polynomial features and then degree equals three, and I've given that the variable poly underscore regression one. And so what we can do now is we have got our 2D array for X values. We've got our polynomial features with a third degree ready to go. And now we need to basically import our linear regression functions and then put it all together. So what we're doing is we're 
taking the linear regression model, we're applying some polynomial features on top of that linear regression model to turn it into a polynomial regression model. And then we're going to use, create sort of a prediction sort of variable that we can predict some values of X, of, sort of Y using X. Cool. So we've imported, next thing to do is to put everything together essentially. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to link up our 2D X array, our 2D array in X with our degrees of, with our polynomial features and the degree we've specified. So we type in poly underscore regression one dot fit transform. We can fit uh, our X values here into our polynomial features. And I've given that the variable X underscore poly reg one. And then what we can do to put the linear regression model in there as well, to sort of under, to have that as sort of as our sort of base, we can put lin regress two dot fit and lin regress two is our linear regression. We're gonna fit our sort of X values here, X poly reg one, which is our degrees of freedom and our reshaped X values comma Y. And that is everything put together, believe it or not, in that line, um, which we can now use to predict some values of, uh, based upon our sort of, we can predict some values, actually create a prediction model. And so what we can do now is we can take lin regress two dot fit, that, that fit that we did, and we can use it to create some predictions. And so if we type in lin underscore regress two, which is our linear regression, and we, that we've ne now fitted with our polynomial features, we can now type in lin regress two dot predict. We can predict our polynomial regression one dot fit transform. And within our fit transform, we can specify a value of x and then we'll predict a value of y based upon that so one thing to realize is fit transform it may look very horrible with the np array that's because we need to make sure that we fit transform within there a 2d array and so if you type in np dot array then we have within brackets we have square brackets that will be our 1d array we need to also put in a second set of brackets to make it a 2D array. And then within that, we can put our number here that we want to predict. And then we can close off everything, all the brackets that we've opened up here. And then we can now print our poly predict one, which is all of this prediction here. Okay. So let's now do some predictions. So for example, when the value is 22, here, remember the numbers won't be exact because what we're doing is a line of best fit, essentially. And so if I put the number 22, it won't be the value of 100. It may be close, but it won't be the value of 100. Probably not because we're basically adding sort of a line that fits all the values as best as possible. That basically models them as best as possible. So if you run it, here we get a value of 99.24. So according to our regression model, when we put in the value of 22, we're predicting that we're gonna get the Y value of that line to be 99.24. So we can put in some other values as well. Let's put in 25. We can run it again. And we can basically use this as like a prediction model now. We've essentially created a model which we can use over and over again to predict sort of values when we go sort of beyond the values that we specified. So if we continue this curve along a bit more, we're saying that when the value is 23, is it? When the value is 23, yeah, or 25, the value will be, of Y will be 90, was it 91.129. Another thing to also taking into account, let's, we can also now check out the degrees of freedom. So earlier I said that um, 
if you change your degrees of freedom, you will change the results that you'll get. And I can show you that now that we've created all the codes. So if we put in four instead of three, have a value of 25, we now get a different value here. We get 113, which to me doesn't seem right when you're looking at the values, which is why I didn't choose it. And you can do the same with the value two as well. And you get a value of 135. So for me, three worked best, which is why I chose three. And it really highlights the need for sort of iterations and really sort of running your model over and over again and fine tuning. Cool. So that was one example of how to create a regression model. In the second example, I am going to show you how you can actually um, graph it. So if we implore, import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, we can now go down here and I'm going to be very quick with this. We're going to basically create uh, a mo model. We're basically using numpy for this. So if you type np.poly1d, poly1d is, is another way of creating a polynomial regression. And in brackets, type in np dot poly fit and x and y um, using our x and y values here and we're going to um, also go in steps of three and we're also going to create a line mp dot lin space um, 1 and 22 and 100 and we're going to also create a scatter plot um, but within the scatter plot we're going to create some lines and we're going to fit the model to the line and basically putting it all together in this line and then we're going to show it and so we run it now we can basically visualize essentially a polynomial regression here so i hope you've enjoyed the tutorial i know it did go super quick at the end but um it's essentially um joining it all together and if you if you're and, and visualizing a polynomial regression. And if you understood the first example, and if you, um, it, then you should be able to understand the second example without me having to go through it in lots of detail. Cool. So please do subscribe to my channel. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please do um, like and subscribe and share it out and comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.